Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more Naya Slivers. And we've got a pretty unkeepable hand right here. Uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Mulligan. Much better. Much better, much better. Uh, we'll definitely... I think we'll go ahead and drop one of our planes. Say done. We'll be able to get gem hide going. Ooh, a Viverlint too. Uh, that's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and start with that, I think, then. Yeah, we'll start trying to cruise on the on the poisonous here. Uh, we got a peat bog. We'll see what we're up against. Sometimes this is delve combo. Sometimes this is um, part of like a mono black control. So, all right. Yeah, this mono black control taking out our lands just like that. A little unfortunate. Okay, well, we're just going to play what we can play, and hopefully this land survives. But we will start attacking in. Good old Mono Black Control. Everybody's trying new builds of Mono Black Control. There's not a single one out there that's the same. Everybody's got their own additions. I've been seeing a lot of uh, these control decks go for land destruction. Uh, so Dark Ritual. So they're going to go for something big again here. I just don't want to see my land removed, at least for one turn, so we can get Gem Hide out. If we can get Gem Hide out, we'll be fine. They can take out our land. We can start bringing stuff in just with our other slivers. Mmm, Crypt Rat. Lovely. Lovely. Pop that right now. He is. Okay. Well, that could be worse. It's a pretty early Crypt Wrap, but they might have a way to bring that back. And if they do, that's unfortunate. And Ash Barons, we're still just going to run out our Gem Hide. Pass. Got a nice 3-2 out there, so we'll tap our Gem Hide uh, and play out our Sinew. And we'll Ash Barons at end of turn, just get another land going. Yeah, let's, let's do that. They're going to start swinging. They played their big stuff. Now it's time to go on the aggressive. Oh, shoot. I missed my Ash Barons. Frick. Okay. That's, uh, that's all right. We'll keep playing out our creatures. Do I want to do anything else? Could try to go Hellbent. Could play out an Ash Baron, cycle our other one. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'll attack in. We'll start racing. And I just can't forget to do my Ash Barons next turn, that's all. We're going for it. We can race. We can race all day. Looks like they're out of stuff to do. We'll just grab our mountain, just in case. Another gem hide. Oh, let's see here. I'm 
mm, just debating if I want to play my blade back at all or just uh, keep cruising in. I think I just want to keep cruising in here. We'll go get ourselves another uh, forest at end of turn with this Ash Barons. Play a little patient. They are in a little bit of trouble here. They need a way, way to get Crypt Rats back out. All right, so we win. First game. Uh, they had four cards in hand. All just duds, I guess. I don't know. Maybe some uh, edict effects that just didn't matter at that point anymore. They could have still played them, maybe, but... Um, let's see here. I'm guessing Relic's going to have some sort of impact on the deck. Hunter is good if they play Crypt Rats and can't produce some mana to do it right away. We can go ahead and throw it down and force them to block with it. Uh, so I will bring him in. What do we want to take out here? First strike's fine. Need to cut three things. Blade back. Cut one blade back. I kind of want to keep him in two. Cut a winding way. Hmm. We'll just drop a Viverlint. Oh, let's keep a, a Viverlint in. Let's see, do we have any non-stacking creatures? I don't think we really do. Hunter's a stacker, but I want to be able to have two so we can get a card draw. I'm debating just taking on another Sidewinder. Maybe Relic's not super important. Maybe I could just have one in the deck. Hmm. Nah, seems like that's a reasonable card to keep. Oh. Because we took out a Winding Way. Ah, uh, so we were good? Oh, my bad. Well, if we're good, I thought we needed to cut one more. Alright, if we're good, we'll just keep that then. That's fine by me. That's a good opening hand. I can appreciate that. We'll keep. Uh, we're still going to do the same thing. We're going to go plain Sidewinder into Gem Hide, and then we'll play our Blossoming Sands. Another Plains. He's got snow-covered swamps, which means he's probably playing with that Defile card. You may see that get thrown down. Oh, going for the Dark Ritual move again. Destroy target land. Nope, okay. They're going on that plan again. Alright. So. Well, we'll, uh... Can't play anything, so we'll go ahead and take the time to play boss Blossoming. Blossoming, Blossoming. We had some comment sections questioning on if we should keep Blossoming Sands in or if we should just cut them completely. Um, we were discussing in the comments, uh, one of the people in the comment sections were saying they weren't going to have any in uh, and just go all basics. Maybe add like one more mountain in and just the rest of them have the planes in force. I think it's fine to have at least two of the Blossoming Sands in the deck. You're still going to want to have um, mainly your Forest and Plains available. We don't have that many red creatures. He wanted to play a little bit more red, which is his reasoning for it. Um, Alright, so we don't get hit again. We just get this annoying guy. So they're going to try to race. Which means we will start dumping our hand as quickly as possible. And I actually can attack into this thing because of the flanking, so I will do that. Because if he wants to block and trade, that's fine. Thought not. Uh, but yeah, I've seen lists. I have three in my deck. I've seen lists have two. I don't think you need all four. Um, so it's kind of up to you. Really like to be able to just dump our hand as quickly as possible here. So we're going to play two lords, I believe, next turn, as long as we can get away with it. 
Sacrifice the creature. Alright, well, goodbye flanking. Alright. So, we can still play two things, which is good. Uh, let's go ahead and lay out our sinew. Play out our muscle. Take a turn off. We can swing back for more than this little dinker can. So, if this is our game plan, then uh, I think we're alright. I think we're in alright shape. They have four cards in hand. They've got two uh, swamps. So, a little bit mana screwed, seems like. Seems like they're struggling to get any more. It'd be nice to have some assurance by pulling in a Hunter Sliver. Paralyze. Uh, tap. Doesn't untap. Turns control. Up and step. Okay. Unless uh, we pay four, right? They pay four. Okay. Well, we're not going to pay four yet. <laughs> It's not quite worth it. We will start racing, though. Let's play out creatures from right here. No. Ash Barons, that can get us to four lands, so that's actually perfect. Uh, helps us out pretty decently here. We'll just put down another gem hide. We'll swing in for six. We'll even out the score a little bit. We'll Ash Barons... And uh, then we'll have our four mana surety if we do want to untap a lord. Which I may even consider doing instead of playing a blade back. Just swing in for a uh, freak ton of damage. So what do we got here? Do we got lethal? We actually do have lethal, so... He's got to be able to remove some creatures or tap some more creatures he may be banking on us not having four lands but uh, we do Ooh, we'll grab our mountain ah, but we can't right we can't play yet silly me I'm silly for some reason I was like yeah we'll just have it out but this comes first um, so we're only going to be swinging in for the same amount of damage anyways, so we're not going to untap it. Well, they're blossoming. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we'll put this out and just add to the board. Add to the board. Still swinging in for nine. We're still racing. We're still beating them by a ton. Looks like he's like all out of removal. I don't know what he's doing, but he's got quite a board to deal with here. And he is stuck on mana. So it looks like we'll get this win. They do concede. So, uh, yeah. Skittering Scourge. Not a scary creature at all. You sacrifice him when they cast another creature spell. 3-2. We can race that all day. Not afraid of mono black control. Never have been. Uh, I've yet to see any potential for it to be something we would, will be scared of. Uh, but yeah, good game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you're enjoying Nia Slivers. Do you want to see me take this into a league? I'm uh, considering, I've got like 10 play points or something, so I'm considering doing a league uh, next week, uh, potentially. So if you want to see me do that, leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Let's me know that you guys are interested. And yeah, we will see you guys in the next video.